and great. Of course, there's another earbuds review. And what have I gone and done? I've once again forgot to trim my ear hair before starting the shoot. It's the kind of stuff you've got to unfortunately consider when you're pushing 40. It's like a friggin' rainforest in there, so apologies in advance. Hello gorgeous peeps, I'm Chris from Techspert and these bad boys right here are the LG Tone Free UFP9 True Wireless Earbuds. I've had these bad boys stuffed inside of my head for the last fortnight, testing them out as my full-time earbuds. And you can grab them right now from LG's UK website for 200 quid, which is quite pricey for true wireless earbuds, more expensive than likes the Samsung Galaxy Buds, the Huawei Free Buds, a lot of the big rivals. So are they actually worth that price? Well, here's my full LG Tone Free UFP9 review. And for more of the latest, greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Now I've reviewed a few LG Tone Frees in the past, and I've got to say, I love how absolutely ridiculously dinky these things are. These are definitely one of the teeniest true wireless earbuds that I've ever tested. They're seriously light and just incredibly compact. And best of all, I found that these UFP9s actually fitted a lot better than some of the previous generation LG Tone Free Buds that I tested. The likes of the FN7s used to squirm around inside of my lug holes, which was less than pleasant. But these things just sit there nice and firm, even if I'm talking, walking about, doing whatever at the same time. Of course, you've got a range of different size ear gels to fit your own particular ears. I found the default ones worked absolutely fine and just nice and comfortable to wear as well. I could have these things sat inside of my skull literally all afternoon long, no complaints at all. And you know, a lot of rival buds, they will either dangle ridiculously from your ears, otherwise they'll look like somebody's just taken two big pebbles and crammed them into your head. Whereas these things are super subtle. They're also IPX4 water and sweat resistance. You can get all moist during your workout, no worries. And you've also got a hyperallergenic silicone tip there to reduce the risk of skin reaction. As for your connectivity, well, that's super simple. Just basically flip open that UV Nano case. The buds will instantly enter pairing modes, be connected in seconds. And that connectivity is really Really strong as well even when I was piddling about in central London really busy areas swarming with other fellow human beings which still feels a bit weird but hey ho uh, the connectivity is perfect no little judders or stumbles or anything like that but one of the big upgrades with the LG tone free UFP 9s is the ability to connect the case to anything with a 3.5 mil jack using a USB to aux cable and then stream audio wirelessly from that device to your buds so for instance here on the uh, the Xbox, what you do is you just uh, connect the case to the controller like so, and then you can actually stream the audio direct from your Xbox to your true wireless earbuds. You've got to remember to flick the little switch here on the side of the case to actually put it into that pairing mode. And the fun of my testing, this works every time, absolutely no worries. Of course, it is slightly awkward when you're then gaming with your Xbox or your PlayStation because you've then got this case just sort of dangling down and there is a slight lag in the audio as well. We're not talking a massive gulf here, we're literally talking a fraction of a second, but certainly any serious online gamers will be perturbed by that. But all the same, it's nice to have that option, and of course you can basically plug it into anything with a 3.5 mil jack. Now when you are just streaming audio from your smartphone, where you've got full-on touch controls, which work an absolute charm, just a single tap to pause or play your audio, another tap to do the opposite. You've then got a double tap of the left bud to take the volume down a notch, a double tap of the right bud to take it up a notch, and a bit of triple tap action to skip a track. And that's a pretty comprehensive selection of controls right there, but if you do want to switch things up, you can actually do that from within the LG Tone Free app. This also includes a full manual, and you've got all kinds of other customization controls within here, some of which I'll touch on in a bit. Now, like the previous generation of LG Tone Freeze, the FN9 True Wireless Earbuds once again have active noise cancellation. And this is on by default, and it's a pretty good job of dampening down any of this kind of the low traffic rumbles and all that kind of stuff that's going on around you. Definitely very helpful when you're out and about. It means you can listen to a podcast or an audiobook, something a bit quieter, without having to boost the volume all the way up to eardrum bursting levels. You can toggle ANC on or off from within that LG Tone Free app that I just showed you a second ago. Otherwise, you can also long press on either bud. And then that will cycle between the full-on ENC mode and uh, the awareness mode, which basically does the opposite of ENC, using those external mics to pump in audio of whatever's going on all around you so you are fully aware of your environment and your surroundings. Definitely handy if you're out and about and you need to be suddenly aware of traffic so you don't get hit by a bus, that kind of shiz. But what about the actual sound that is spaffed into your ears? Obviously, if that wasn't very good, then it would be very difficult to recommend the LG Tone Free FN9 True Wireless Earbuds. But thankfully, uh, LG hasn't really shaken things up at all. It's once again gone to British audio company Meridian in order to fine tune that audio output. And I gotta say, I didn't really notice any real difference at all between the FN9s and previous generations like the FN7s, which I'd already tested and reviewed. You've got a selection of different audio presets right here in the LG Tone Free app. Uh, it 
is stuck to bass boost by default. I wasn't a massive fan of that. I definitely preferred the immersive mode, which just helps your audio to sound really nice and full bodied, great for your music. Otherwise, you've got other options there. You can also uh, custom build your own. So definitely, once again, impressed by the sound on these things. It doesn't matter what kind of music you're into. Even my metal tracks, I found, sounded quite beefy in general, certainly compared with some lesser rivals. And ditto, no complaints at all when it comes to uh, call quality as well. You've got a triple mic setup here on the LG Tone Free FN9s. And I found that even in a really noisy high street environment, they generally did a pretty good job of picking up my voice and sort of distinct distinguishing it from uh, what was going on all around me. And back inside of LG's phone app, you'll find the Tone Free Lab section. And in there, there's the whispering mode. This is a kind of privacy feature. What it does is it basically just deactivates all of the mics apart from one here on the right. But the idea is then that you hold it up to your lips and speak really, really soft and uh, basically just massively boosts that mic sensitivity so everything that you see is clearly heard by the person on the other end of the line without, you know, revealing your deepest, darkest secrets or your deep psychological traumas to everyone else who's on the bus with you. You have to be in quite a quiet environment for that to work though, uh, certainly anywhere noisy, all they'll hear on the other end is just a whole bunch of... <laughs> Now so far, the LG Tone Free FN9 has been very similar to the FN7s, which I recently reviewed with the exception of the, uh, you know, the hooking up to the PlayStation or Xbox feature. But there is one feature which has really improved over previous generations, which was a big surprise to me and a very nice surprise at that. What I'm talking about is battery life. LG Tone Free has always been average at best when it comes to the battery, but with these bad boys, I found that even with the ANC active, taking the buds out of the case, you'll get a full seven hours of use on a single charge. Now, if you actually knock that ANC off, you'll get closer to 10 hours, which is exactly what LG advertises. That is a big improvement, very solid stuff indeed. And of course, when uh, the buds are wiped out or just when you're done using them, you just slip them back inside of the just as dinky and compact and lightweight case, the UV Nano case to give it its full title. And basically just a few minutes in there and 99% of any bacteria that's lingering on the external mesh bit will be exterminated to buggery. So if you don't like bacteria, then that's a bonus. Unfortunately, probably because the case is so absolutely tiny as well, you don't get many refills of that battery from the case itself, one and a half-ish roughly before the case itself will also need a recharge via Type-C. You've got a single Dinky little LED here at the front end of the UV nano case. This gives you an idea of how charged up the buds are when you pull open that lid. And when you pop it closed again, it gives you an idea of how much charge is actually left in the case. And this is just your basic traffic light system. So red will mean dead. Green will mean fiend, fine. Green means you've got lots of battery left. And that's my full review of the LG Tone Free UFP9 True Wireless Earbuds, which are a solid pair of buds. Really good to see that improvement in the battery life. You've got some respectable active noise cancelling in there as well. They don't jiggle about as much as previous Tone Free buds, which is always a bonus, so great for your bit of uh, gym, bit of your fitness stuff. And then you've also randomly got the ability to stream audio from your PS5, your Xbox, anything uh, with a 3.5mm jack, which is nice. So what do you reckon? Are you tempted by the LG Tone Free FN9s? As I say, 200 quid from LG's UK website. Otherwise, I believe they are discounted 20 quid if you get in there uh, early doors as well. It'd be great to hear your thoughts down below. Please do plug, subscribe, and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. And have yourselves a fan-bloody-tastic rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.